Hey guys, welcome back. This is Doug, Delta Oscar Uniform Golf, and today we are going to be looking at a SDR program uh, that can be used as a scanner um, for air bands, for police fire EMS frequencies, for the weather, um, and it's actually going to be set up as a regular scanner. Uh, so first off, uh, let me tell you, um, uh, Windows right now that I'm using and the computer that I'm using um, is this um, right here. Uh, so it is a Intel Atom uh, 78350 Windows 10 uh, compute stick. It runs Windows 10 Pro preloaded. It has four gigabytes of RAM. Uh, it is DDR3. Um, it also has 64 gigabyte uh, internal storage. It supports 4K. Um, it does do dual Wi-Fi, uh, 2.4 gig and 5. Um, and it does have Bluetooth 4.2. Um, it does support um, additional storage up to 128 gigabytes. Uh, I am currently using this right now to make this video and it runs extremely well surprisingly. Uh, they do have a less expensive version uh, that only has two gigabytes of RAM. Uh, I've never personally owned one of those. I have friends who have um, and they've had um, you know a few issues with it so I would definitely recommend the uh, the four gigabyte um, RAM model so anyway um, it does have uh, uh, USB 3.0 and a 2.0 uh, the TF card slot for the additional storage uh, HDMI plug on the end as you can see um, the thing actually does quite well. It's pretty snappy. Um, I'm actually quite impressed for it. And for the price uh, for $159, um, I think it's a good deal. Uh, especially um, for what we're going to use it here today. Um, it's, not, um, it's not bad at all. So um, either this or your regular Windows machine. Uh, now the program we're going to run today is uh, SDR uh, Uno uh, from SDR Play um, and here's the program here and I'm going to show you how to set this up um, uh, for scanner function uh, so let's get back out of this so if you go to uh, SDR Play's website uh, here it is right here uh, SDRplay.com uh, and you go under downloads and you click on that uh, so uh, SDR Uno is only for Windows, but SDR Play uh, uh, has links here and downloads uh, for just about every operating system. Um, Raspberry Pi and Windows, Linux, Mac, uh, Android, and so on. Um, like the Raspberry Pi, uh, um, you know, it even has the um, uh, the the ADS. Uh, B dump 1090 for for aircraft, uh, but what we're going to be looking at today is uh, the SDR Uno right here, uh, and just come here. Uh, you can download it, set it up. It's completely free software. Matter of fact, all these software um, uh, applications are free. Um, so, and I would do want to mention, um, you could actually run that uh, Windows Intel compute stick. Uh, on something like this and actually have a uh, kind of a portable little scanner uh, that you could set up on the shelf somewhere uh, like a regular traditional scanner uh, but I just wanted to kind of kind of point that out there um, that is an option and they do have cheaper monitors you could get a 7 inch or even a 5 inch if you'd like uh, but like I said you just come here uh, download this for the um, for the um, SDR Uno um, run, install it, and uh, you'll be good to go. Now, this will SDR Uno will work for the RTL uh, SDR dongles or the SDR Play. Uh, we are actually running an SDR Play today. 
so uh, we're going to look at the, uh, the the scanner functions here so let's open this up um, if you notice uh, I already have some files saved here uh, for for under my my scanner um, profiles here um, two meter handband uh, and I kind of threw this together real quick I, I would usually have a lot more frequencies than that um, there's my like uh, police fire EMS uh, so on and so forth uh, and then I have a favorites category um, that I pr prefer and I even set up a little um, uh, local weather uh, category there um, let's see um, if we come here so what you need to remember um, before starting the scanner uh, configuration uh, is you need to come up here and you need to look at your squelch setting uh, if you start this with your squelch set all the way down um, it's going to be very difficult to set up and it's, and it's going to constantly be picking up frequencies where there's really not a transmission there it's just noise so I usually like to turn mine about three quarters of the way up uh, and set your volume uh, now also keep in mind your RF gain that needs to be set now because as it's saving frequencies that it's finding as it's scanning through um, it's also going to save the uh, RF gain setting here um, so depending on the, the, the frequency the, the signal that it picks up uh, it could actually overload so I run mine anywhere from half to, to three quarters of the way up and it, and it seems to do, uh, do just fine um, so let's do this easy first uh, we are going to right click well you know what let me show you this in action see if it picks up anything um, so to actually run the scanner function once you have your, your frequency saved here uh, you want to click there for the uh, memory panel and then you just want to hit the play button let's see if we hear anything Oh, we just seen a signal there, but um, it's not in one of my stored uh, frequencies. So um, instead of us just sitting here waiting, uh, let's stop all this, and we're going to configure um, the the scanner and save some frequencies. Uh, now for this next part, you need to take it out of the memory panel and go to range before you you click on this right here. So here it is so uh, it's already showing airband and we're gonna we're gonna save some frequencies on the airband we're gonna do an initial scan to start with uh, however if you go to one of these custom preset um, tabs you can actually set your frequency um, the the start and stop frequency to scan from uh, this um, to the end frequency uh, and everything in between uh, but we're going to go to one of the um, other ones that come with the software. We're going to do the air band. Um, and then you have down here, you have hold time. So what the hold time does, three seconds. So if it, uh, if it finds a, a signal, um, it will hold on that frequency for three seconds, even if there's no transmission, um, and then begin to scan again. And you can set that wherever you want. Uh, now the threshold um, is right here in DBM uh, and what this allows you to do is set that to where uh, any signals um, that's underneath of this line it's not going to stop on but the minute that signal um, peaks over this line it'll stop on that frequency and you're going to see it's going to save uh, in this column here as we go uh, so we have it on airband um, and that's what it's programmed to scan from uh, 118 to 136 975 uh, so we have that set we're gonna exit out of that uh, now we're gonna clear this now just come over here right click uh, left click on new bank um, and we're gonna start from 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 scratch here uh, so our squelch is set our volume is set our RF gain is set. Okay, so make sure you leave it in range and we're going to hit the play button right here. And this is going to start scanning through those uh, start and end frequencies we were just looking at. Um, so let's start scanning. 
um, and uh, see what we hear and as it stops on a signal you're gonna see automatically uh, those frequencies just add in here uh, and before I start I want to add that um, the add lockout so if it stops on a frequency that's just noise um, and there's nobody talking or whatever the case may be uh, you can actually click this during the scan mode and it'll lock out that frequency to not stop uh, on that frequency again uh, it, you'll still see that frequency stored here but in this column here you'll see a N for no uh, instead of a Y for yes um, so you might see me um, click this uh, a few times uh, just to block out that frequency so let's start scanning and uh, see what we hear now you see how I blocked that automated weather observation zero four three nine nine and sometimes there's more activity uh, than others but if you listen long enough um, you'll usually pick up something um, I'll usually if I'm doing a scan function like this uh, I'll have it scanned uh, I'll turn the volume of my speaker down and walk away for uh, good at, uh, 15 20 minutes I'll walk away and let it scan now you see how it added it uh, right there and these two are blocked Miles this out of speed at 9,000. Now it didn't add because it's the same frequency as before. And it'll keep scanning through. Yeah, at this time of night, I guess I'm not seeing a whole lot of activity. Um, it's just like anything else. Um, there's certain times of the afternoon where uh, you know it's it's real busy on there uh, I'm gonna let it go for a few more seconds and then we're gonna stop the scanning I'm gonna show you how to how to save everything and uh, you know kind of put it in your profile uh, yeah see that's the that's the same so we're gonna stop it there um, so we're not scanning any longer so now what we want to do um, you know, usually I would have, um, I don't know, three or four dozen uh, frequencies that it's picked up. So you want to just come anywhere in this column, right click, save as, and we're going to name it air, and then save. Now when I hit save, you're going to see it actually pop up over here. And there it is. So, um, let's say we decide we want to scan through that, and uh, we scan through all those frequencies, and uh, kind of getting bored with that, we want to go see about air graph. So now we can just come up here, uh, double click, and there's your frequencies. Now, once you have these stored and you have everything set up, uh, you actually want to come over here to your memory panel. Uh, left click on that and then you hit play and now it's only gonna scan through those three frequencies which two of these are locked out so technically it's only gonna scan the one frequency uh, but if we had more in there you would see it actually scanning through the the save frequency so um, it's fairly easy to set up uh, like I said it's the, the the only SDR program that I know of that has this function without having to use a third-party uh, piece of software. Um, I wish some of the other programs would, would add that in. Uh, there's been talk about some of the other programs doing so, uh, especially for the Raspberry Pi. Um, some of the programs for that, I, I really wish it had a, a scan function on there. Um, and again, you can add it, but usually it's a third-party uh, software that you, you have to run along with that program. Uh, so I hope uh, this all helped you guys out today uh, setting up uh, setting up the scan function of the SDR Uno. Um, this is probably my favorite program uh, when it comes to uh, uh, you know setting up as 
uh, scanner and the scan function and so on and so forth. Uh, I do like this probably better than other programs for a lot of the HF bands. Um, matter of fact, let's uh, let's look through a couple of the bands real quick. Uh, I'm not on the correct antenna, so I don't know how well it's going to receive, but uh, let's go over here and uh, see if we're picking up anything on 80 meters. Let's, uh, uh, let's come over here and uh, let's zoom in a little bit. Um, see if we're able to hear anything. Yeah, you can hear it a little bit on there. I'm actually on a VHF antenna, so I'm actually surprised that uh, that it's picking anything up at all. But it is uh, maybe a little bit there. Yeah, like one, two, three, four. Let's, uh, let's try 40 meters. Um, yeah, it's probably more so the antenna. Um, if I was actually on my uh, my 80 meter uh, HF antenna, I'm sure we'd be picking up some signals right here. And yeah, take a chance, 60 meters. Um, 20 might be something there. Uh, not quite hearing anything. Nah, uh, we'd be picking up a lot more, like I said, if we had, uh, that almost looks like an AM, but maybe not. But, yeah, um, it's a, it's a, it's a good program. Um, and I hope the scanner, uh, functionality helps you guys out. Uh, that's probably what I enjoy with the, uh, the program the most. Um, and let's see, two meter. Let's turn the squelch up. And any time, if you want to go out of the band, um, and I'll show you, you see how it won't let me go past that. Well, if you want to keep uh, scrolling out of the band, you turn the uh, the low lock, turn that off, uh, and now you can go basically anywhere you want. Um, matter of fact, let's go to a weather station. Let's see. Let's zoom in a little bit. Let's go to that. River one. near Great Cucaven, 1.6. There you go. Here is a. We might have to squelch up a little bit. There we go. High pressure will move northeastward across the mid Atlantic tonight and Thursday, then offshore of New England by early Friday. Dry weather and seasonable temperatures are expected. And the squelch might still be a little hot. Across the region late Friday, but very little, if any, precipitation so, is produced. Southwest winds around 5 miles an hour. So, like I said, it's a good program. Um, the scanner function is just excellent. Uh, I use it uh, quite often. Um, just sitting in the living room, uh, doing whatever. Uh, I'll have the scanner going, listening to, to police, fire, EMS so on and so forth so um, I really hope that uh, that helped you out guys and uh, I hope uh, uh, if you guys don't already have this program download you download it and uh, give it a try and have some fun with it so take care guys uh, again this is Doug and uh, I want to say 7-3